Shabbat Shalom. In this week's parasha, our parasha Chayei Sarah, we read about the passing of Sarah, the tragic passing of the matriarch. In the Talmud, we are told the following line. There were 10 tests given to Abraham. And the question that is debated by the sages is which one was the most difficult? The 10th test. According to many of the sages, it was the Arcade of Yitzchak, the binding of Isaac, the beloved son of Abraham, taken for God commands Abraham, take your son to the mountain, I'm bringing him to me as a sacrifice. The trauma, the emotional toil, turmoil that he went through certainly was the greatest test of Abraham. But according to other sages, the tenth test happens in our parasha. That when Abraham comes back from the mountain, he hears the tragic news that his beloved Sarah has passed away. And now he has to organize a funeral. And when we read through the text, we see that Abraham does not get despondent, upset. He deals what he has to deal with. And then he continues to find a wife for Isaac. And I think there's a powerful message that we need to learn from Abraham in the story. How many of us go through a trying experience, a traumatic experience, and we turn around and we say, I can't do this anymore. I'm done. I'm finished. Leave me alone. No more. Don't give me more projects. Don't give me more activities. I am finished. Abraham doesn't do that. He continues. He says, there's still more for me to do. He dealt with the Akeda, and he opens up the next chapter, finding a burial spot for his beloved Sarah. He deals with that one, and now he has to find a wife for Isaac. There are always going to be the challenges, always going to be the, uh, the, uh, the problems that we're going to have to face. And yet, some of those problems certainly are difficult. And there are others where we're going to throw up our hands and go, I can't do this anymore. But as Abraham teaches, your job continues until the final breath. We don't have a right to say, I've had it enough, can't do this anymore. Certainly, in our jobs, we can walk into the boss's office and say, I'm out of here, I quit. But in terms of life, we can't say that. And thus, Avram teaches us that when it comes to life, there are going to be those moments that are going to challenge us, that are going to give us gray hair, that are going to break, almost break us. And when we finish them, we overcome them, the next wave will come. Because life is not simple. We don't get the golden sunset, relaxing on the beach, drinking the daiquiri as much as we would love to. Every, every step that we take is another challenge to overcome. And Avram will continue with those challenges until his very last breath. That is a challenge that we all need to agree to and accept. From the moment that we started walking and talking and engaging with this world, we are growing. And that growth will continue until our very last breath. We don't have the chance to say, Adkan, no more. And thus the rabbis, in their wisdom, said, the tenth challenge of Abraham was not the Akedah at Yitzchak. Yes, that was the greatest challenge. But the, greatest, the greater challenge was continuing afterwards. In soccer, I saw the story of Sir Alex Ferguson, the famous manager of Manchester United. He rebuilt his team three times. To win the championships was an incredible achievement. Climb the mountain. But then he did it again with a new team and again with another new team. And that is true greatness. That to celebrate the victory and then realize that the sun is going to rise tomorrow 
And now I have a new challenge. Abraham accepted that challenge. And that is what made him the father of our nation. Shabbat Shalom. Hi, this is Rabbi Lewin. and if you've enjoyed the content of the sermons and the ideas that have been expressed in the YouTube video, please hit that first subscription button and notification bell and share the videos with friends. We'd love to grow the channel and love to engage with you. Please share your comments in the section below. I'd love to hear from you. Have an amazing day.